Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for, you can say the next seven days, but the timing is fluid, okay? So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? wish granted wish granted so you are about to have a wish that was granted or is going to be granted now this may be a wish that you made a long time ago because if you think back to your childhood this is what i just am thinking okay because that's when you typically pick up a dandelion that has passed and you blow on it and you make a wish Okay, so I feel like this is a wish that you made a long time ago that is being granted. I mean, hey, it could be a recent wish, but for some reason, I feel like it's a wish that you made a long time ago, and now it's, it's, it's uh, being granted. It's like a long-lost wish that you had forgotten that you ever made, and now it's being granted. Let's get one more. deep spiritual connection so this is like look at that that's love that is love so there is a deep spiritual connection here you're going to be connecting with somebody on a very deep spiritual level i mean it's beautiful this person is a reflection of yourself okay oh that one fell off you you may need to block somebody Okay, this fell off the top of the deck when I set it down. So you may need to block somebody this week. I'm going to put it back on there. But uh, that's just a little message from Spirit. Okay, my Spirit wants you to block somebody. Maybe it's somebody that is holding you back from this wish fulfillment. Maybe it's an ex. That's what I heard. That's just what I heard. So I don't know. What do we have for Leo? Temperance. Temperance is a card of patience. It's a card of evolution. I feel like you have learned some sort of lesson. I feel like you need to go with the flow. I feel like everything happens for a purpose. This is a change. Okay, I feel like you need to be cooperative, like cooperate, okay? There's something that you need, it's like you have to blend, right? That's what temperance is. Temperance is blending to create harmony. So I feel like there's something that has ended because it comes after death. There is something that has ended that you need to really leave behind. You have to leave it, you have to. It's interesting that I said X. I don't know who it is. But there is somebody that you really, 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 really need to leave behind. Okay? That's over. It's done. It's completely done. Now you're going to receive something better. Or you are, have already received something better. Okay? Because temperance is exchanging something lesser for something better. But in order to receive the blessing, you definitely have to leave something behind. And know that you do. We also have the chariot. Okay, so the chariot is about leaving things behind as well. It's about traveling in that new direction, dealing with opposition, and not looking back. You cannot look back. You cannot. So I feel like you are really in a really good place. A really good place. Do not look back. That is a very strong message. Um... Take your time with this, okay? Don't hurry. Don't try to rush it. I feel like at times you try to hurry things. I know that you do because that's a Leo trait, okay? You have to slow, go slow, be patient. It, it takes perseverance. It takes time to build a solid foundation. 
So just go with it. Just go with the flow. Take your time. Have patience and be flexible, okay? If you can be flexible and allow things to unfold as they should, they will unfold in your favor because you do have a deep spiritual connection here. So what do we got for... I want to say Taurus. I don't know why. Libra. Libra just came up. Leo. Leo. We also have Sagittarius here. So, um, what do we have for Leo? Some of you could be, it's interesting, but when I just said Taurus and then I said Libra, what just came to me was the Empress. Because the Empress is, uh, you know, ruled by Venus, which is Taurus and Libra. So some of you, if you are feminine watching this, you are taking on that Empress energy. You are glowing. You are beautiful. You are uh, the epitome of love. Somebody really loves you. If you are the masculine watching this, you are dealing with an Empress. You are dealing with an Empress because I wanted to tell you that. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is just go for it. This is exciting. This is a fresh start. It's a new it's a new spark. It's a sudden desire. Okay? It's a flame. It's a match. Okay. High priestess. Because some of you are dealing with a high priestess, somebody that is very spiritual. That could also be your energy. Strength just jumped into my hand. So there is your energy for sure. Four of Wands, reverse. This may require uprooting. Some of you may need to move, okay? You, you, honestly, the Four of Wands is a foundation. It's a home. Maybe you need to uproot to have this uh, wish fulfillment. Let's get the rest of the cards. Star card. I can't, I can't even get over this. This is wish fulfillment. This is exactly what you asked for. This is a dream come true. Totally. Totally. You are looking at... This is right underneath the Ace of Wands, okay? You are looking at an exciting new beginning, okay? This is, this is, this is fantastic. High Priestess. This is a spiritual connection. High Priestess, Star Card, right, right together. This is a, a deep spiritual connection. I mean, I can't even make this shit up. The star card, the high priestess, the deep spiritual connection, the wish granted. The, it's all right here, okay? It's right here. It's right here. And it's right here. It's, it's truly a deep... This is it, okay? Whatever this is, this is absolutely positively it. But I think it has to do with uprooting because of that four of pentacle or four of wands reversed. That's like, I don't know if you're feeling insecure or you're in a foundation where it's insecure. There could be problems on the home front. You may be feeling like you don't fit in. We're going to get another card to go with that. Seven of pentacles. I needed clarification. This is relocation. It is relocation. So somebody is relocating or they need to relocate. It could be you. It could be the person that you're, that you're dealing with. I feel like there's somebody here that needs to relocate. They may need to, you know, go someplace else. And that is like relocate. This, this season is over. And that season may have to do with the person in their past. It's a dead end. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. It's time to start over someplace else. The the Ace of Wands is starting over as well. It's a fresh start. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. You could also be dealing with another Leo. We also have Aquarius here. But I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very nurturing, very caring. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Did I just say that? This is somebody that is stable, solid, secure, loyal, hardworking, business oriented, has something of value to offer you. And I feel like you need to hold on to your value. Be patient. Be patient. Some of you really need to, to uh, be, have, be patient, 
Also be courageous. Don't let fear hold you back. If you're afraid to move, some of you may be afraid to move. Don't let fear hold you back. This is what you asked for. King of Wands reverse. There's your fear. That is fear. It is. This is I just said you need courage. That's lack of confidence, lack of courage. You need to be strong. You need to take action. Don't let fear hold you back. And have faith. Have faith in new beginnings. Have faith in the divine. Listen to your gut. A lot of you are, are, are vibrating at a very high level as well. I mean, the Empress vibrates at a high level and the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands and the Star card, you're vibrating at a very high level. Really listen to your intuition. Do not doubt your intuition. Do not doubt your gut. You have a strong gift, a spiritual gift, okay? You have a strong spiritual sense, okay? Don't doubt it. Hermit reversed next to that King of Wands reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. I feel as though you have to make a choice. I feel like you have to make a choice. I feel like I feel like the thing is is that you keep looking back. You keep looking back at a previous partnership. This is a choice. Okay. You keep looking at back at something that didn't work. Okay, you do have a deep spiritual connection here, but the choice is always yours. There's consequences for looking back. I say looking back because of this Eight of Cups. Don't look back. You have a spiritual connection here that is better than what you had before. Okay, I feel like, I feel like there's... Uh, Hmm, you have a golden opportunity right in the palm of your hands. You may also, uh, well, there's fear. There's fear of being alone. You may be, you may be in a hurry because you're, you're afraid of being alone. You know, afraid of being rejected. There could be fear of being rejected. That's fear. That's fear. That's fear. That's fear. You're not going to be rejected by this, whoever this new person is. You do, and the Ace of Wands is new. I feel like you have a lot to offer this person and this person. You're on the same level. You're on the same spiritual level as this person. You, you got, I feel like you see eye to eye. But there's somebody in the past that you don't see eye to eye with or that you didn't see eye to eye with. And I feel like that's what's holding you back. Eight of Cups reversed, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about uh, leaving the past behind, think, but not completely over it yet. Some of you are not completely over it yet. I feel like there's, there's fear of stepping in. Maybe some of you are afraid of giving up your independence. We have a hermit here. Somebody may be afraid of uh, getting married or getting in a commitment. That Four of Wands reverse is a commitment. It's marriage, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is definitely afraid of commitment. They're afraid of giving up their independence. I feel like you need to invest. You need to be patient. Don't try to force things. Go for it. Just go for it. Don't hold yourself back because of fear. Four of Wands reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed. There's somebody here that, I don't know if somebody has walked away from you or they aren't really giving much to you. They may be working on their spirituality. They may be working on themselves. It may make you angry. It may make you upset. Maybe you're wondering why they're not 
they're not communicating or they're not they're not investing in you I feel like you need to be patient I feel like this person will invest it feels like this person will invest but it feels like there's time 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 is needed King of Wands reversed. Don't force anything. Do not force anything. I feel like you're waiting. Some of you are waiting for somebody to come back. The Hermit reversed. It's time to socialize. Some of you need to stop waiting for somebody to come back. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Invest in something else. You have something here. You have something here that is absolutely, positively beautiful. It's beautiful. It's the birth of a new life. I, when I saw that Empress, it's, this, is, this is a creator that can help you to create a new life. This is somebody that will nurture you and take care of you and love you. There's also a reconnection here. You know, the, somebody, you know, and then this is a completely different message. Okay? For somebody else. This is for a completely different person. Okay, somebody may be reconnecting with the mother of their children from the past. I don't know if it's the person that you've been with. Because I see a reconnection here, going back. So somebody is going, and I don't think it's you. There is an exchange for something lesser, for something better. Everything happens for a reason. The Hermit Reverse is a rejection. So I'm not sure if somebody has... Re and the Star card is protection. So there, I feel like you may have been protected by somebody. You know, you, for, from a higher power here, you know, with that Star card. That's, that's like... A, it could be somebody that has passed away that is guiding you, that is guiding you in a new direction because it's looking at the Ace of Wands. There is a guiding light here. There is a guiding light. You're being guided towards something more fresh, more exciting. This is fresh. I do see some sort of uprooting here, though, with the Four of Wands. I feel like you, I'm not sure if something didn't pan out. You know, some of you, I'm not sure if you moved in with somebody and it didn't pan out and you may be discouraged. Don't be discouraged because you got somebody better here that, that, that you are deeply, deeply connected to. Ten of Swords, the end of an, an engagement, the end of a commitment. Ten of Swords, I was clarifying that Four of Wands reversed. So it's like some sort of, it's something, it's messy, it's time to clean up this mess, it's time to start over. You know, just 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 walk away from the mess, it's over, just don't look back. Don't. You, the bit, what I really need to say is don't look back, I think I said that at the beginning. Maybe you're dealing with somebody that lost interest in you and you're feeling discouraged. You have something really beautiful here. I think that you need to hold up your head high and be proud of who you are because you have a lot to offer. You have a lot to offer somebody. And there is somebody here that I believe is a perfect match. Let's talk about your person, somebody that's in your energy. I'm going to get some cards on that person. Ace of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and the Four. Somebody has taken a break. They may have suddenly departed your life or they suddenly shut you down. You're dealing with somebody that, in the I don't know if it's in the past, we're talking about somebody that's in your energy. This is somebody that is unfaithful. They're untrue. They're not loyal. They may have let you go. You know, they let you go. They weren't solid. They weren't stable. They were lazy. They were distrustful. They were untrustworthy. They lied a lot. This this person, uh, I feel like somebody has uh, let you go. 
somebody has let you go that ace of pentacles reverse whoever this person is that you're dealing with is not loyal anyway they are cheat they're cheat they're la they're lazy they don't tell the truth all they do is lie money hungry but they don't have anything to offer you anyway you know they don't what 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 were they gonna they what if they don't what were they gonna give you they didn't even have anything solid to give you anyway so why would you why would you invest in somebody that wasn't gonna give you anything and I feel like that has ended I feel like that you have ended some or some either you've ended it with them or they ended it with you this person was a know it all this person was a know it all they were aggressive they lied a lot they had no intentions of putting in effort none none whatsoever i feel like this is this was uh maybe you rushed into it with this person without thinking and you know when you rush and it's interesting that i said don't hurry this and i, and I brought that up at the beginning speeding causes accidents and that's not just in a vehicle when you rush into something you don't know what you're getting into you don't and that's when things fall apart. You gotta read the fine print. And you know when you get those big contracts, you think of it like this, you get a big con, you gotta read that shit. And it takes time. It takes time to read that. If you don't read the fine print, you will be taken advantage of. You will get duped. And it takes time to read that fine print. So I feel like you may have rushed into something and now it's like, you know, it's like getting married after, without even living with each other, you know, or getting married to uh, make the, the thing is, for the Four of Wands, okay, this is just an example, the Four of Wands reverse, it's like making the outside look beautiful, the outside, the home looks great, you know, it looks good to the outside world, but on the inside, it's a mess, it's a mess. But to but you know so but when you get married just for the looks of it, that's when things fall apart, because you you want the world to to everybody to think that you're happy. So I'm not sure if that is what has happened. When you rush into things, they fall apart, and that is a big message. So I think that slow down is big. Especially with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords both reversed. I feel like you rushed into some sort of contract or marriage or relationship with somebody because maybe you were lonely, you know, you wanted it to look good, and boom, you, you slow down with this one because hopefully you've learned your lesson. Temperance is learning some sort of lesson. Hopefully you've learned your lesson. And we go through these stupid moves to learn and learn those lessons to become the empress or the emperor or whatever it is. We make those stupid mistakes to evolve, okay? To get us ready for the, um, the one that we truly asked for, that we wished for when we were a child. So anyhow, I do believe that you have a deep, a deep uh, spiritual connection here with somebody. I hope you learned your lesson. Read the fine print. Don't rush. If somebody left you because you were in a hurry, chalk it up to a loss and learn from it. Good luck.